peace and love this is divine leo goddess and welcome to my channel if you're not new here hey bestie all right this is going to be a mercury retrograde forecast and this is going to be collectively so this is going to be for everybody all the zodiac signs i'm not going to be splitting it up in this video i'm just going to be going straight into it for us all because it's going to affect us all the same way just in different situations circumstances all right in different ways okay um mercury retrograde is from i believe september 9th to october 1st 2022 okay um so you can be watching this during mercury retrograde or before it is a few days from now it's the 7th so i believe it's going to be this friday okay so um as far as like <clears throat> as far as mercury retrograde it's going to be in libra season during libra season so i feel like for a lot of us it's gonna hit like partnerships companionships okay relationships whether platonic or romantic that's what i see coming in for us a lot of us but let's see what spirit says about it and let's see how we can potentially prepare for this mercury retrograde we have a we actually like we have a lot of planets in retrograde i may touch on those other planets too because those are very significant as well all the retrograde planets that we're going through right now are very significant, but we're, for, we're focused on Mercury retrograde. So, let's think about Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication, okay? It's the planet of communication. Um, you can think of like thoughts, ideas, words, um, information it can be very significant. Mercury equals the mind mindsets okay so that can be very significant for mercury retrograde it could also oh mercury can also be paired with socialism sociability socializing with other people okay social media could be very significant with um, mercury retrograde as well but let's see what spirit says spirit what can we expect for mercury retrograde what could we all expect collectively please um, September 9th to October 1st, 2022, Spirit. Okay, something good. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> I got the yes on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have an unexpected blessing. Hmm, let me not get too excited, but I do see, like, there's some sort of unexpected alignment going on during Mercury Retrograde. Something happening in divine timing, okay? 444, 11, 11 could be very significant, could be synchronicities, certain things that you see. All right, what is this unexpected blessing, Spirit? Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, y'all, I'm getting a little bit too excited because what did we say? Not the Libra card coming out. Oh my gosh, that is such confirmation and alignment. If that's not it, like, I don't know what is. I literally just mentioned, I just talked about Libra. But anyways, y'all, Libra season, okay? There is something unexpectedly going on, an expected alignment here, and it's going to be touching on a lot of partnerships, whether platonic or romantic here. Relationships is going to be very, very significant, all right? Um, happiness also came out so whatever this unexpected blessing is it has a lot to do with your happiness it has a lot to do with fun joy success feeling a victory okay feeling victorious in certain relationships and partnerships during this time all right scorpio could be very significant oh y'all i'm liking what i'm seeing so far no lie <laughs> no lie if you're watching this you could be a libra okay or you could have like libra placements or you could have scorpio placements i'm also seeing this this flower it just reminds me of a sunflower it reminds me of the sun card so um, leo energy okay but i'm just picking up an energy where it's like i see like a lot of teamwork a lot of compromise coming in during this mercury retrograde um and i feel like again you guys won't see this coming you won't see this coming in all right this is like something that you're attracting i'm looking at this uh magnet right here this is something that you guys are attracting that a lot of us are attracting with this eighth house eighth house represents intimacy mm, there may be some intimacy <laughs> look oh my gosh spirit 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 is really talking to me like i promise they're talking to me so much i see so much synchronicities in this reading already like i just saw 444 
we just hit the um four minute mark in this video on camera so i see that as confirmation um 444 has a lot to do with nurturing thinking about fourth house cancer energy has a lot to do with nurturing um comfort self-care as well um stability foundation so i feel like a lot of you are going to be experiencing unexpected intimacy in your relationships whether it's platonic or romantic okay things are about to get it very very intense in certain partnerships in um our lives that's what it looks like so far okay let's see what else spirit and what can they expect with this energy spirit oh my gosh two of cups okay so these are not just like these aren't just any relationships like these are not just any people you meet strangers you meet on the side of the street okay these are relationships where you feel you know close to this person there's a lot of love between these um relationships and partnerships that you're dealing with okay um a lot of you may feel very much so closer to certain people okay in your life certain people that you're close with in your life i'm seeing the emperor card um so emperor could signify a father figure for some of you this can signify a baby father for some of you um this could even be like a masculine in your life maybe a brother okay um a brother uncle this could be a husband a boyfriend whatever it is for you what may resonate with you this is what i'm seeing okay two of cups a lot of you guys are going to unexpectedly feel closer to the person that um you love okay whoever it may be for you guys wow the ace of cups right behind that i can't make this up even if i tried the card's not lying spirit's not lying okay um this is like an unexpected um happiness a sense of joy and success and even this connection and i feel like this is coming from like an emotional standpoint you know i'm seeing a fire sign aries leo sag could be very significant the hierophant queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces i'm also seeing taurus okay taurus energy The Hierophant can signify maybe a marriage. Some of you could be maybe married or in a commitment. It doesn't have to be marriage. It could just be like a, some sort of commitment. Um, the Hierophant for me too, a lot of you guys could be soaking in, like soaking up some sort of wisdom about certain relationships in your life. Okay. Yeah, guys i see a lot of peace coming in especially after a period of time like I, I do see an energy where some of you a lot of us could be dealing with like a sense of stagnancy in certain relationships conflict drama okay um a, a sense of avoidance when it comes to peace and patience okay um a lot of this is kind of balancing aligning okay aligning in mercury retrograde okay mercury retrograde is going to align a lot of those issues a lot of that conflict drama that stagnant period that pause okay um especially when it comes to collaborating when it comes to working together as a team compromising with certain people that you love okay a lot of this is going to be significant in mercury retrograde here so i do see spirit is saying that like this is bringing a lot of peace back into these relationships after a period of time where things felt so stuck you know what i'm saying it felt so stuck or conflicted like i said or there's just a lot of drama fights arguments disagreements um it doesn't even have to be physical conflict it could be inner conflict some of you may have been holding in certain things that you haven't been talking about with certain people you know what i mean um a lot of this is going to be refined in mercury retrograde that's what i'm picking up here 
it can be like i said platonic it could be romantic it could be a business partnership whatever it is a lot of this is going to a lot of peace is going to be brought back into these partnerships a lot of balance okay after a period of time where this have been it has been really you know avoided okay i just see a lot of um, avoidance okay everybody seems to be avoiding certain things and what mercury retrograde is coming to do is coming to align um yeah <laughs> there's also been like a lot of some of you may have been trying to avoid conflict okay you, well, you can't avoid it now okay a lot of that is being aligned in mercury retrograde okay think about seventh house libra energy justice card this makes so much sense i swear spirit on spirit be on point um yeah justice card balance finding your balance okay so like i said look out for four for four eleven eleven one 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 could be significant two 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 a lot of that could be significant, but let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Let's move forward. Sparrow, what else can we expect? Mercury retrograde as a collective. As a collective spirit, what else can we expect? Mercury retrograde. September 9th to October 1st. What? Whoa, spirit just throwing them out. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little bit excited in this reading because, yo, I don't know. I've never really been this pumped for Mercury retrograde because, hmm, you know, I don't really listen to all of the, what people like the fear mongering surrounding mercury retrograde people are always like bummed when it comes around but it's not always something bad you know i've experienced you know a bad retro a bad mercury retrograde before but like not all of them are bad i promise you guys i feel like this one is a good one i feel like something about this one okay something about this one all right because i literally just talked about balance didn't i say balance alignment okay mirrors looking into your reflection oh oh i'm sorry y'all i'm getting so much downloads because this is like this is aligning and it's linking back to certain things that i've seen i've watched in the last 24 hours or the last maybe 72 and it's aligning so well we are literally in the shadow period and i just know it's just gonna make so much more sense when it actually when we actually get into retrograde into mercury retrograde okay um so I see a lot of like balance coming in and alignment coming in through mirroring, through reflecting, looking at your reflection. Um, so think about it. Like I said, Libra energy, seventh house, our partnerships. Okay. A lot of the people that we are close with. Okay. A lot of these partnerships, connections, we are looking at, um, we're looking at ourselves in the mirror. We're looking at certain things that we're not, we haven't been touching on. Okay. We are confronting certain things. All right. That's why I said you can't really, it's like, you can't really avoid it you can't avoid if you've been avoiding certain things you can't avoid what you were avoiding before my ears start entering i know that's like very significant for for somebody that's watching um but i see a lot of balance coming into certain conflicts okay um there's a lot of things being called out in mercury retrograde tests may be very very significant and again this is surrounding possibly um I'm seeing the second house on the bottom, so Taurus energy, surrounding value, surrounding what's worth it, okay? Surrounding your security or insecurities for some of you. <clears throat> Clarify this balance. So something is coming from the subconscious mind to the conscious mind. It's like you guys are becoming aware of certain things that you know you need to confront, basically. Okay, Gemini energy. So think about Gemini associated with the third house okay mercury is associated with mercury 
Um, so again, communicative, communication, it's associated with sociability, all right? There will be tests surrounding collaboration, surrounding sociability, surrounding um, communication and, and your perception, okay? Not only your communication as far as socially, but also your mental, your mindset is also going to be very much so tested. Look, ascend it on the bottom of the deck here, okay? So this has a lot to do with your point of view, your perception, your approach to certain um, situations that you know you need to confront here. And again, this has a lot to do with other people. So Mercury retrograde is definitely going to call out a lot of, um, <clears throat> it's going to call out a lot of things that we have been possibly ignoring or suppressing or kind of, you know, stagnating in our lives surrounding sociability. Okay. Oh, Svera, you just point, look. Spirit is just throwing them out, like they keep com confirming everything that I'm saying, okay? Third house, your perception, okay? Gemini energy twice, twice, okay? So again, um, there will be, like I said, tests, mirrors, reflecting, confronting certain conflicts, disciplining yourself, surrounding your speech, surrounding your thoughts, surrounding social media. Social media is going to be very significant in this energy as well. All right. Again, this also mentions sociability surrounding research. Okay. Surrounding um, siblings. For some of you siblings, you guys may, um, <clears throat> you guys may communicate with siblings or com be confronted or confront a sibling that could be very significant. Third house represents siblings as well. Okay. So I do see a lot of discussions, communication, perceptions. All right. <clears throat> see what else spirit what else for mercury retrograde can you expect to come in so yeah guys expect a lot of communication okay expect a lot of communication to come in all right actually let me clarify with tarot really quick um what type of communication may come in so we know what to expect so just so you guys know gonna be a lot going on because i'm picking up an energy too it's like certain communications certain things that you maybe certain messages calls okay so certain confrontations that you may receive all right that may get you really thinking in your head okay it may get you in your head it may get you overthinking over analyzing certain things all right um it may be kind of like affecting your perception affecting how you see certain things in your life okay all of this could be really really significant so just be be mindful be mindful clarify this third house perception spirit for mercury retrograde okay seven of pentacles so this has a lot to do with um investments okay investing your time and energy into certain possibly thoughts <clears throat> excuse me possibly thoughts into certain conversations discussions all right social media like i said i see seven of pentacles also has a lot to do with growth clarify the seven of pentacles spirit yeah a lot of growth surrounding boundaries okay so boundaries may be very very significant like i said all of these different things could be significant social media boundaries surrounding social media thoughts okay speech the things that you're saying all right a lot of these things are going to be tests in mercury retrograde okay a lot of these things are going to be confronted okay a lot of you may set more boundaries Third house, like I said, also represents socializing, collaborating with other people. So there may be a lot more growth surrounding setting boundaries or setting heavier boundaries and protecting your peace. Wow. Ooh, spirit. I don't know. They're hitting every note for me right now. Like this makes so much sense. Yeah, protecting your peace. So I see you guys being very cautious of who you're interacting with. Okay, some of you guys are just like really also made to set boundaries with social media or with socializing. Or there's just maybe tests surrounding, you know, your boundaries. 
magician card. Thoughts may be very, very significant in this energy as well. Um, the magician is telling me that your perception, because you got to think about your intention. What is intention? Intention is a focused thought. Anything that you focus on, anything that you focus on is going, is basically your intent, okay? It's a focused thought. So the more you focus on that thing, the more you're consistent with that thought or idea, it can manifest into your life, okay? It can manifest in some way, shape, or form because the more you focus on it, aka the more you put energy or time and energy into whatever idea or thought that is, it begins to manifest, all right? Um, a lot of this is going to come up in Mercury Retrograde, okay? A lot of tests and discipline surrounding your thought and your perception and how you're seeing certain things here, eight of swords, okay? Especially if you're somebody that kind of like overthinks and it makes you procrastinate i feel like a lot of this is bringing like mercury retrograde is bringing alignment to that habit for a lot of you too so i'm seeing so many different things because some of you may have a habit of like procrastinating it's like you you receive the idea but you procrastinate and you kind of procrastinate away and i feel like mercury retrograde is kind of um forcing a lot of you to confront these different patterns in your life okay because the boundaries is not only with other people the boundaries is also with yourself remember that it's not only with other people although people partnerships is very very significant okay libra energy is also bringing in balance and alignment okay not only to sociability but also to your mind okay also to um, to you, your speech, your words, the things that you're saying, the things that you're speaking on to your life, okay? A lot of tests surrounding that. Ooh, spirit is really speaking right now. Like, they're speaking through me. Like, I just, I, I don't know why, but I just feel so pumped. I feel so pumped right now. Okay, anything else they need to know about what's to come in Mercury Retrograde Spirit? Okay. What? Okay. Look, and what did I say? Divine union on the bottom of the deck. I'm seeing 22. Okay, we're in the 22 mark, a minute mark. So, what did I say? 222 could be very significant in Mercury retrograde. You could even be seeing this right now because we're still in a shadow period. So, just saying. But I do see some sort of wish fulfillment, guys. I see some sort of wish fulfillment coming through and it may be coming to, um, towards your unions, like I said. Maybe a special, passionate relationship or a union partnership in your life, okay? It does not have to be romantic, okay? But it could be, okay? Let's see, clarify this wish fulfillment. What is the wish fulfillment? Oh, what? Oh, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. I am just so like, <laughs> do I even have to explain this? Cause it's given, it is given. I really want to like, I'm excited because I really want to know how it manifests for a lot of you. I wish, like, I really want to know. I want to know how this is going to manifest for us. Okay. So let me, let me tell you guys how I'm reading this. I'm reading this in a way I'm like, a lot of you in certain partnerships, relationships, okay, whatever it is, it may be for you. Okay, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I just see there's been a, like a silence. Things have been really silent. Things have been really, you know, iffy when it comes to communication. Like things have been really, um, how should I say, complicated surrounding communication in certain relationships with certain people that you really love and care about. Um, like, you may want someone to really talk to you, okay? Whether you're actually talking to whoever this may be or whoever this may be in regards to or not, okay? Whether you're talking to them or not, okay? I just see, like, there's an issue with communication, okay? With hearing for, from somebody or getting someone to open up about something, Okay, so I feel like in Mercury Retrograde, I, I see a, an alignment, I see a fulfillment. A lot of you guys are going to get what you want surrounding communication. If you want somebody to communicate with you, if you want them to talk to you, if you want them to open up, 
all right i also see certain secrets coming out too so there's a lot of things being revealed to you guys in mercury retrograde and i feel like this is something that you really really want okay this is something that you um desire you may desire this right now um and it's bound to happen in mercury retrograde for for you guys okay so again a lot of revealing the secrets a lot of things coming out um a lot of communicating after such a long time of not for some of you okay a lot more communicating after kind of you know maybe silent treat treating or just like not really speaking up as much as you should okay or as much as the other person should it could be vice versa so take how it resonates i just see a lot of like i see a blessing okay and with the divine timing card like the unexpected blessing you guys have been waiting for this okay um this came out twice so it's very significant it's very very significant usually with repetition spirit is usually trying to tell me okay this is like something very very significant okay so let's see what we can do to prepare for this mercury retrograde okay all right spirit what can we do like what 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 do we need to do to prepare for this retrograde What do we need to do to prepare for this special grace spirit? Thank you. Seven of, um, excuse me, I was about to say seven of swords. So, <laughs> did I, I didn't even mean to say that. So, some of you, I don't know, some of you guys could be avoiding something, okay? You guys may need to stop avoiding something, all right? This is not even the seven of swords, but I said it. So, I'm thinking that some of you guys could be really avoiding maybe something in your mind, your mindset, crown chakra energy, okay your mind our mind okay it's kind of like a mind over matter type of thing you know because i'm seeing the heart chakra on the bottom yeah a mind over matter Ooh, mind over matter so um, the message i'm getting here is using your mind over your heart moving into this retrograde okay especially ooh, ace of swords okay ace of swords especially when it comes to your communication all right oh spirit oh they're speaking to me okay this makes a lot of sense clarity this ace of swords has a lot to do with clarity clearing your mind okay staying focused focusing your mind focusing on what is important all right stay focused on your new beginnings the world card um focus on your success focus on your goals focus on staying disciplined okay um focus on your new beginnings focus on the opportunities that you want to come to you okay that's why it's saying a uh, mind over matter type of energy look fo look guys focus on your success here focus on feeling victorious all right um patience seeing patience on the bottom of the deck universe card so a lot of you um to prepare for mercury retrograde a lot of you guys need to trust that the most high is bringing you exactly what you need here okay um there's a need for you guys to just move forward okay move forward past your past okay um i just see a lot of like discontentment a lot of like disappointed energy um you guys feeling kind of like disappointed with certain things there's a need for you guys to be more grateful here all right to refocus your mind um refocus your mind 
and your perception away from your past because all it's really doing is bringing you some sort of unfulfillment okay it's bringing you some sort of disappointment or discontentment in your energy so there's a need for you guys to prepare okay prepare yourself by refocusing your mind on your success on new beginning on new beginnings on newness on new opportunities that are going to bring you fulfillment and success and victory um instead of these memories okay these different things that kind of put you back into this disappointed um un honestly i'm gonna be honest with y'all some of you is ungratefulness i'm just saying i'm just saying uh, i wanted to say ungrateful and yes for some of you take what resonates okay don't shoot the messenger <laughs> But um, yeah, some of you guys need to refocus your mind and really trust the universe and stop dwelling. Okay, stop dwelling so much on this um, heartache or this loss. Something that yeah, something that you guys feel like you have lost in your life here, and it's surrounding your past. Okay, think about what Mercury retrograde, since it's in Libra season, it represents. It's going to hit a lot of our partnerships here. Okay, there's a need for you guys to just move forward, or there's a need for us to move forward here, so we can, um, so we can, um, make it through this retrograde. All right, I think Spirit is mentioning this because Six of Cups, a lot of past energy may also come up in Mercury retrograde as well, so that can be really significant. All right, how can we prepare for Mercury retrograde, Spirit? Oh my god, what did I tell you guys? How can we how can we um prepare we can stop avoiding certain things? Sheesh. I didn't really want to pull all of this, but we're going to see what it is. Look, the five of cups, why is repetition, okay? Some of us need to stop dwelling on certain things that we cannot change here, okay? And we need to release this baggage that we may carry. Um, there's like an indecisiveness surrounding collaborations, yes, okay? But, <laughs> Spirit, can we just get one card at a time, please? <laughs> Guidance, please, on this uh, Mercury Retrograde Spirit. Thank you. The High Priestess, trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition, okay? All the answers that you you seek are inside of you. Okay, a lot of you guys could be like mystics, or you could have psychic gifts, or you may be really gifted, like you, with the like. How should I say your intuition? Your intuition is really really powerful. So prepare for Mercury retrograde. You need to stay in tune with yourself and release your worry. Okay, release your worry, your anxiety here. Um, I also see not a cups not of cups could be could signify um following your heart okay following your heart to prepare you guys need to follow your heart and listen to your intuition like i said you guys have the wisdom the answers everything that you seek okay you know what time it is ten of cups yeah so I'm feeling like, yeah, wow. To prepare, I feel like you may need to release your fears or worries. Why, Spirit? Yeah, it's surrounded. It's because of some sort of communication or some sort of frustration, like an avoidance when it comes to like frust getting frustrated or you know someone else getting frustrated with you. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing, okay, Queen of Swords, okay. So a lot of you guys need to stay focused, okay? Stay focused and follow your heart, following your intuition and releasing any sense of worry surrounding Mercury retrograde right now as you move forward. Move forward freely, okay? Move forward freely. Stay focused here. Again, with this Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, again, this is about mind over matter, okay? Mind over matter mind over matter i keep hearing that that's why i keep saying it six 
six of pentacles so six of pentacles has a lot to do with giving and receiving here knowing your worth okay knowing your worth knowing your value okay knowing what you bring to the table all right the death card scorpio energy there's a need for for in order for you guys to prepare all right there's a need for you to stop trying especially when it comes to like giving and receiving giving and receiving there's a need for balance okay um this is like a um i don't chase i attract energy which meant for me is is for me okay um six of pentacles you don't have to give as much as you think you have to give here knowing your worth the empress card knowing your value whether you're a masculine masculine or feminine all right knowing your worth and value especially when it comes to giving and receiving and giving a lot of your energy and time all right yeah following your heart again especially when it comes to movement move, taking action and moving forward okay i keep seeing swords i keep seeing the queen and king of swords so that's telling me balance between masculine and feminine energies um <clears throat> the main thing i'm getting here yeah there's certain maybe indulgences there's certain, you know, possibly relationships or certain attachments. There's certain um, conflicts that you guys just need to release, okay? This could be patterns um, in certain relationships. It could be like codependency. Um, it's an energy that you guys are binding yourself to uh, this drama, this conflict. Spirit is saying, work on putting this to rest here. Because there's, like, you guys have tried enough. And whatever situations, like, you guys have tried enough. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so there's a need for you guys to put this, like, obsessiveness for some of you. To rest and stand still here. Stand still. The, the, it's kind of like, the fact that I'm seeing all a lot of, you know, swords is telling me this has a lot to do with inner conflict. This has a lot to do with inner work. Okay. So there are certain things that you guys may need to work out inside of yourselves or in your mind, your mindset here, okay? I really hope this helped. Definitely let me know if you are um, watching this and this resonated. Definitely come back um, during Mercury, Mercury Retrograde to see how it's resonating or if you just need guidance again. Um, you can always come back to this video okay if you would like to book a reading with me everything that you need to know is in the link in bio excuse me yeah the link in bio <laughs> i was about to say something else so anyways also the decks that i'm using i'm also gonna put them down below so you guys can check that out and all of my social media platforms are down below i do post a lot of free content so you guys can check me out on all my platforms and yes don't forget to like comment and subscribe like this video it helps me out so so much i don't understand it helps me out it helps my channel grow all right just a tap of a button also consider commenting if this resonated for you i would love to hear from you guys and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me okay without further ado i love each and every one of you and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this okay peace and love